subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Hello people, so today we are going to look at how we can represent discrete uh, signals as integration or uh, that rather to say dif uh, summation and difference of each other. So uh, I am just representing all the basic signals first here then we are going to look at how we can follow their representation. So this is how a unit impulse signal looks like, right? It is a it appears only at n is equal to 0 with a value of 1. Unit step we are having for all values of n greater than 0 or equal to 0 and it occurs with a value of 1. So this is how this unit step signal is going to look like. Right, this is how unit step signal is going to look like and similarly unit ramp signal has value equal to n for each n value that is for n is equal to 0 its value is going to be 0, 1 for n is equal to 1, 2 for n is equal to 2, 3 for n is equal to 3 and so on. Okay, so this is how unit RAM signal looks like. Now see, if I want to obtain this signal, if I want just a single impulse, single impulse function which occurs at n is equal to 0, how can I obtain this from this signal? See, if I subtract all the impulses forward from n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1 onwards, if I subtract all the impulses, I am going to obtain a single impulse which occurs at n is equal to 0. So, if I just write, see this is u n, if I just subtract a shifted signal, shifted signal would be n minus 1, shift a signal of u n which starts from n is equal to 1, which would contain of all the impulses other than this impulse which occurs at n is equal to 0, then I am going to obtain del n, del n. So already we have seen that, uh, I am just making an analogy here. We have already seen that del t was equal to differentiation of ut with respect to dt. Now when we uh, change from continuous time domain to this discrete time domain, differentiation converts to difference. This in continuous time domain we were having differentiation of unit step signal, in uh, discrete time domain we are having difference of unit step signals. Okay, So this is how you are going to represent this unit impulse function. Uh, fine. Now if I want to express this unit step as summation, uh, okay, this unit RAM function, I am trying to express unit RAM function as summation of unit steps, okay. See, uh, one thing that I have to keep in mind is, one precaution that I need to take is that this unit RAM function is not having any impulse at n is equal to 0, okay, we are not having anything at n is equal to 0, whereas in unit step this signal starting from n is equal to 0, this is having value 1 for n is equal to 0, which is not required in unit ramp, okay. So this signal, if if even if I want to express it, uh, express it at sum or something, I am going to start from u n minus 1, why? Because I need impulses from n is equal to 1 only, I do not need any impulse at n is equal to 0, value at n is equal to 0 should be 0 only. Okay, so n at, uh, at n is equal to 1, I need an impulse of uh, value 1. So, I am starting from u n1, uh, u n minus 1. So, this is going uh, to give me impulses of size 1 starting from n is equal to 1. But I need the size to increase. So, what do I do? I keep on adding signals. Keep on adding signals. What happens then is that it, I had a, this signal started at n is equal to 1 with value 1. When I added one more step signal at n is equal to 2, the value of uh, at n is equal to 2 is going to become 2 because there are two step signals now. Similarly, value at n is equal to 3 is going to become 3 and so on, which is what we required. Now, if I just want to express it uh, all at once, what am I going to write is? k is equal to 1 to infinity u of 
n minus k. I'm just replacing these uh, 1, 2, 3, these numbers with this k, right? So, this is how you can express this unit ramp as. Okay, in uh, continuous time domain also, we were having RT was integration of ut, integration of ut from 0 to infinity. So, uh, here only limits have changed, we are having this from k is equal to 1 to infinity and uh, in place of t I am putting n minus k, okay, this is which is same kind of thing, we have just replaced integration with summation. So, this is how we are expressing this unit ramp signal as step signal fine and uh, delta signal as difference of step signals. Now, if I want to express this unit step signals, unit step signals as a difference of ramp signal or sum of step uh, this impulse signals, how am I going to do? Uh, okay, so one thing we studied earlier was any function ft, any function, any general function fn sorry, fn, any general function fn can be expressed as can be expressed as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity f k into del n minus k. So, we already looked this in previous classes that any general function f n can be represented as k is equal to minus infinity to infinity value of that function at k and this shifted impulse. Okay. So, uh, now when I am trying to express u n, u n, I am just replacing this f with u n. So, this is going to become Now see, whenever I am having a function u n in multiplication with any function, this function is going to start from 0 only, okay. So, there is no point in having the limits from minus infinity. So, what do I do? I just alter the limits from k is equal to 0 to infinity. Other than that, after that from 0 to infinity, this having value 1 only. So, I need not write it. So, what I can say is u n can be expressed as u n can be expressed as summation 0 to infinity of del n minus k, okay. Fine, so this is how we are expressing signals as difference or summation of each other. Also, if I want to express this u n as difference of ramp signals, so you can clearly see if I just take this, if I want to obtain the signal, what I need to do is, I need to subtract a shifted ramp signal, shifted ramp signal r n minus 1, okay. I just need to subtract it to obtain this u n. Uh, for clarity, I am just drawing this. Okay, if I draw r n minus 1. So, what happens is this signal, this signal r n is going to shift right each, each uh, impulse and this is going to shift right by one unit. So, what am I going to obtain? This is going to be 0. At 1 I am going to obtain the value 0, at 2 I am going to obtain the value 1, at 3 I am going to obtain the value 2 and so on, right. Now, see Okay, this is value 1, 2, 3, 4. Previously, this was value 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, see, if I just subtract that signal from this one, what am I going to obtain? At 0, this is going to remain 0 only. At n is equal to 1, here the value is 1, here the value is 0. If you are going to subtract, you are going to obtain the value 1. At 2, if you subtract, you are going to obtain the value 1. Why? Because here the value was 2, their value was 1. If you subtract, you are going to obtain 1. Similarly, for all the n values, you are going to obtain the value as 1 only. So, you can express u n as, u n I can write as r n minus r n minus 1. If I just subtract the shifted signal from that original signal, I am going to obtain a unit step signal. I am going to have impulses of impulses of size 1. One thing that we have missed here is, see this signal is not going to start from n is equal to 0. Why? Because there is not going to be any impulse which lies at n is equal to 0. This signal is going to start from n is equal to 1. So, this uh, by doing this operation, we are going to obtain u of n minus 1. 
okay so uh, i guess this is clear why we are obtaining u n minus 1 because when you are going to subtract these signals the the impulse is going to occur from n is equal to 1 at n is equal to 0 both these signals are having value 0 so if i want to obtain u n what do i have to do what do i need to do i need to do r n plus 1 minus r n fine so this is how you can obtain u n okay so this is how we are just uh, representing signals these three basic signals as difference and summation of each other right